Welcome to my clinic. So we're gonna do your wrinkle relaxer treatment today. Tell me what are the areas that you're wanting to address? Kind of like from here down to about here. Okay, got it. A little more specific. Frown lines are coming back, my forehead lines, my smile lines. Give me a smile. Uh-huh. Um, I notice that I'm clenching again and that I'm grinding a little bit more my teeth so mm -hmm. that they know that's wearing off. Clench for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fill up here too. Okay. All right. And I think I've noticed that your chin um, just likes to have a little dimple there. Mm -hmm. So I know this is coming back. The corners of my mouth are starting to come down a little bit. And I notice that my neck muscles are coming back as well. And I, that's pulling down and, and starting to accentuate the jowl area a little bit more. So I'd love to weaken that. Well, Bunny lines. Bunny lines, I don't have much, but I do have bunny lines. <laughs> so much. You're not making, do that. There you go. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make a plan for you. Okay. Okay. What did you decide to use? I have different things for different areas, but basically I have something that is very focused for this area. And then because this muscle is broad, this is broad, um, this is broad, I have something with like a more diffuse effect there that I'm more focused in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the forehead. And so go ahead and bring your eyebrows way up high. And what I notice particularly for him is number one, the lines go horizontally across. Um, he does tend to peak a little bit. And actually if he, uh, I know this from looking at his past treatments, if we don't treat right above this corner of the brow, he will tend to have almost a look like this. So we, we will pre-treat for that. Go ahead and um, bring your eyebrows way up high for me again. Okay, and relax. Neuromodulator is one of the most common treatments that we do and one of the, and I love doing it. And even though I have been literally performing this treatment several times a day for over 15 years, I still find it interesting and um, engaging. And part of it is because every patient is different. For Dr. Cho, for example, our goal is an overall softening of um, his very strong muscles. And I think we still want him to have expression, but we just want to mute it a little bit. And so with the forehead, that's probably one of the most challenging areas, especially if we've never done the injection before. And part of it is because we have to think about where the eyebrow is. And oftentimes when patients come in, they are really focused on horizontal lines. And what I'm focused on is I'm focused on softening the lines, but I'm also very focused on their eyebrow position and shape. And that's where I think some of the artistry comes in because we need to decide how many units to put in because the number of units dictates how strong the treatment is, um, but then also where to place those units and then what product to use. And so, so usually what we'll do in our clinic is we'll see you back in two weeks so that we can see what you're thinking and we can also evaluate ourselves and then we can learn from that for your next treatment. Now the crow's feet are another challenging area because your smile is related to how, if your eyes smile and if your, if your mouth smiles. And so there is actually a name for the smile where you're just kind of doing a fake smile like this. And what we don't want to have happen when we do our neuromodulator treatment is we don't want to take away your genuine smile. So I'm always very careful and I like to talk to the patient about what their goals are when we're trying to get rid of the crow's feet lines. But my goal generally is a softening of the lines but still allowing you to have a real smile with your eyes. One of the things I like to watch for are bunny lines because those are lines right on the nose that can be accentuated when people smile. And sometimes when we're treating the frown lines, what happens is our bunny lines become stronger. And so what we wanna do is we always wanna have a global effect and everything being harmonious with everything else. Now you'll notice I'm spinning everything on the lower face pretty much, um, including the chin, these muscles right here, which pull down on the corners of the mouth, this injection through here, and these neckline muscles are all related to weakening muscles that pull down on the face. And there's a balancing act on the face, so 
if you have muscles that are pulling up, which are your smile muscles, and muscles that are pulling down, which are your grimacing muscles, when we weaken those pulling down muscles, what happens is there's a little general elevation of the volume of the face into the more youthful area, which is this middle third. So that is why we spend a lot of time thinking about those injections. Masseter injections are wonderful for at least a couple of reasons. One is if you have functional issues. So if you have TMD, which is temporomandibular joint disorder, this can be a game changer. Or if you're grinding your teeth and you're getting headaches or neck aches from that. But in addition, it can be very helpful for facial slimming. And I know that's something that I feel like I have very much benefited from as I've been doing facial slimming for, for myself having someone else do it on me, um, for maybe even 15 to 20 years now. And the neck bands are something that you may not notice um, when you're just looking in the mirror, but if you're a little tense and you're smiling when you're tense like that, that's when the neck bands tend to come out. And then remember that same muscle helps to pull down the face. So when we treat those, the face has less drag on it. So he, he's getting a pretty comprehensive injection. The only thing I can think of that we're not treating for him is his orbicularis muscle, which sometimes people refer to as the lip flip. And as well, there are certain people where their elevators actually do pull up a little too much. You can see that with a gummy smile. In those patients, we will treat the elevators of the face as well, just super minutely, just to try to even it out um, or to take a gummy smile down a millimeter. Just completed a pretty comprehensive treatment. We got the forehead, um, the frown line, crow's feet, bunny lines, chin, muscles that pull down on the mouth, and then um, a treatment to help with the jawline. And finally, because he is a grinder, we also did his masseter and his temporalis muscles. And those are basically the two muscles that are involved in clenching the jaw. And so how did that feel? A lot of little pokes. Each one was not too bad. It's just like, but there was a lot there. So I can imagine how some people might find this modestly uncomfortable, but didn't do any numbing, didn't do any icing. So overall, it was pretty tolerable. So what you're seeing here is my frown lines, my forehead lines, my crow's feet, my bunny lines, Sometimes it's hard for me to get those. My, I get a little bit of lip lines where I purse. You can also see my depressor muscles coming into play when I pout. My neck bands are just more laterally or outside, as well as just a big strain where it's pulling down when I clench my neck. You can also see my masseter muscles bouncing when I clench my teeth. And I know that my grinding is starting to come back. So these are common areas that I like to get treated when I get my muscle relaxer treatments. You'll notice that the results um, are very gradual. So actually when you leave that very day, you're not gonna notice much except for the little bubbles on your face, um, but Day by day, you will see that the muscles start to soften and weaken. So you'll notice like three weeks later, um, he's still able to make all of his motions. He just looks like he's a little bit softer. I think if I was um, going to do any kind of touch up, I would probably, he still has a little peaking. It's, I think if you look at the before, it is a little comparable. He had some peaking even without. I think he'd be better with a little touch. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Try to get him back in. <laughs>